Hey there, Realtors. If you're looking to streamline your lead management, boost your productivity, and close more deals, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into Follow-Up Boss, one of the most popular CRM, customer relationship management, tools for real estate professionals. Ready? Let's go. What is Follow-Up Boss? First things first, what exactly is Follow-Up Boss? It's a powerful CRM designed specifically for real estate agents and teams. Think of it as your personal assistant for managing leads, automating follow-ups, and staying organized. With features like lead tracking, automated workflows, and integrations with other tools, Follow-Up Boss helps you focus on what really matters, building relationships and closing deals. Step 1. Setting up your Follow-Up Boss account. Let's start with the basics, getting your account up and running. Sign up. Head over to the Follow-Up Boss website and click on Get Started. You'll be asked to fill in some basic information like your name, email, and phone number. Choose a plan that fits your needs, whether you're a solo agent or part of a team. Complete your profile. Once you're in, take a few minutes to set up your profile, add a professional photo, write a short bio, and include your contact details. This helps personalize your interactions with leads. Verify your account. Follow-up boss will send you a verification email or text. Click the link or enter the code to confirm your account. Once that's done, you're ready to explore the platform. Step 2. Navigating the Dashboard The Follow-Up Boss Dashboard is your command center. It might look a little overwhelming at first, but don't worry, it's super intuitive once you get the hang of it. Here's a quick breakdown of the main sections. Leads. This is where all your leads live. You can view their details, add notes, and track interactions. Tasks. Stay on top of your to-do list with reminders for follow-ups appointments, and more. Deals. Track your active deals and see where they are in the pipeline. Reports. Analyze your performance with detailed reports on leads, conversions, and more. Settings. Customize your account, set up integrations, and manage your team, if applicable. Take a few minutes to click around and get familiar with the layout. Trust me, it'll make everything else much easier. Step 3. Importing your leads. Now that your account is set up, it's time to bring in your leads. Import from CSV. If you have a list of leads in a spreadsheet, you can easily import them into Follow-Up Boss. Just upload your CSV file, and the platform will do the rest. Stick with your website. If you have a real estate website, you can integrate it with Follow-Up Boss to automatically capture leads. This is a game changer for staying on top of new inquiries. Connect your email and phone. Follow-Up Boss can sync with your email and phone to automatically log conversations with leads. No more manual data entry. Add leads manually. If you meet someone at an open house or networking event, you can add them to follow up boss manually. Just click add lead and fill in their details. Step four, managing your leads. Once your leads are in the system, it's time to organize and manage them effectively. Categorize your leads. Use tags and labels to categorize your leads by source, status, or priority. For example, you might tag leads as hot, warm, or cold. Add notes and details. Keep track of every interaction by adding notes. Did you have a phone call? Send an email? Note it down so you can pick up where you left off. Set reminders. Follow-up boss lets you set reminders for follow-ups. Never miss an opportunity to reconnect with a lead. Track lead activity. See what your leads are up to, like which properties they're viewing or how often they're engaging with your emails. This helps you tailor your approach. Step five, automating your follow-ups. One of the best features of Follow-Up Boss is its automation capabilities. Let's set up some workflows to save you time. Create drip campaigns. Set up automated email sequences to nurture your leads. For example, you might send a series of emails with market updates, home buying tips, or new listings. Set up SMS campaigns. Text messages have a crazy high open rate. Automate SMS campaigns to send property alerts, appointment reminders, or quick check-ins. Use smart lists. Smart lists automatically group leads based on specific criteria, like location or behavior. This makes it easy to target your marketing efforts. Automate task creation. Set up rules to automatically create tasks based on lead behavior. For example, if a lead views a property, you can set a reminder to follow up the next day. Step six, tracking your deals. Follow-up boss makes it easy to track your deals from start to finish. Add deals to the pipeline. 
When a lead is ready to buy or sell, move them into the deal section. This helps you keep track of active transactions. Update deal stages. Follow up boss lets you customize deal stages to match your workflow. For example, you might have stages like offer submitted, under contract and close. Collaborate with your team. If you're part of a team, you can assign tasks and share updates within the platform. This keeps everyone on the same page. Track commissions. Follow up boss lets you log commission details for each deal. This makes it easy to track your earnings and stay organized. Step seven, analyzing your performance. You can't improve what you don't measure. Let's talk about tracking your success. Check lead conversion rates. See how many leads are converting into clients. This helps you identify areas for improvement. Track email and SMS performance. Monitor open rates, click through rates and responses to see what's working and what's not. Review task completion. Are you staying on top of your follow-ups? Follow-up boss lets you track task completion rates to keep you accountable. Generate reports. Use the reports section to get a detailed overview of your performance. You can export these reports to share with your team or coach. Step eight, integrating with other tools. Follow-up boss plays well with other tools you might already be using. Sync with your website. If you have a real estate website, integrate it with follow-up boss to automatically capture leads. Connect to social media. Use integrations with Facebook lead ads or Instagram to bring in leads from social media. Link to MLS. Follow-up boss integrates with MLS to automatically update property details and send alerts to your leads. Use Zapier for custom integrations. If you use other tools like Gmail, Google Calendar, or Trello, you can connect them to follow-up boss using Zapier. Step nine, advanced tips for realtors. Want to take things to the next level? Here are some pro tips. Use templates. Save time by creating email and SNS templates for common scenarios like follow-ups or appointment reminders. Leverage AI insights. Follow-up boss uses AI to predict which leads are most likely to convert. Focus your efforts on these high priority leads. Stay consistent. The key to success is consistency. Make it a habit to log every interaction and follow up on time. Train your team. If you're part of a team, make sure everyone is trained on how to use follow-up boss effectively. This ensures a seamless workflow. Keep learning. Follow-up boss regularly updates its features. Stay ahead by attending webinars, reading the blog, or joining the user community. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to mastering follow-up boss. Whether you're just starting out or looking to optimize your current setup, this platform has everything you need to manage your leads, automate your follow-ups, and close more deals. Remember, the key to success is consistency. Keep refining your strategies, stay on top of trends, and don't be afraid to try new things. Follow-up boss is a powerful tool, but it's up to you to make the most of it. So what are you waiting for? Dive in, explore the platform, and start growing your real estate business today. You got this. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to share it with others who might benefit. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future tutorials, Feel free to drop them in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next session.